You're going to have that on the entire episode? Yeah, well... Welcome back, everybody, to episode 13 of the Amateur Hour Podcast, the most mediocre... Wait, we didn't even roll the intro. Roll the intro. (laughs) (laughs) Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to episode 13 of the Amateur Hour Podcast with... Matt and Angel. The most mediocre podcast coming at you live from the back of a spirit Halloween. Mm. Don't fact check us on that. No. We got some homeless people <laughs> doing drugs over there. Yeah. Obviously, that's not the scariest thing that I've seen today. No. No. It's actually not the scary. Speaking of scary. Yeah. I know this is just segueing into it. I had, um, this is like a real story, by the way. Yeah. I had the fucking weirdest dream. Oh, I cussed. I had the weirdest dream the other day. Or last like night. We don't cuss. Like every couple seconds in this podcast. Yeah, you're right. I still feel bad though. Anyway, so I had I had the weirdest dream last night, dude. Uh huh. All right, let me paint you a picture. You you see you see that door right there. Yeah. Okay. So it. in my dream, I woke up. <laughs> yes. In my dream. Yes. In my dream, I was sleeping. Yes. And I woke up. Uh huh. And I hear like heavy rain. Yeah. Right. And I get up. Uh-huh. And my door, that door, is wide open. Yes. And it's raining outside. And only one of my dogs is in the in the in the apartment. Yeah. And I go stick my head out the door and I see my dogs running around. Uh-huh. And I'm trying to get them in because it's like heavy rain. Uh-huh. And then I look towards the pool. So I look towards I take a look towards the right. Yeah. And at the corner of the apartments, like maybe like a good fifty yards away, like forty yards away, there's a shadow. Like a fucking shadow. And and it's doing this. It's waving at me. The hash slinging slasher. I don't know what the crash bringing, <laughs> smash thinking, clash thingy. I don't know. But literally, bro, like it's it's doing this, uh-huh. and I can see it holding balloons. Like I see all I see is the the black out like silhouette of it. Yeah, it's doing this, and it's, it's keep, it keeps going like this. Yeah, and it's just all black. And I in this hand it has balloons. I swear to God, and I. And fucking creeped out. Yeah. And I'm trying to get my dog inside. But like, I'm, like this thing is just standing there like waving at me. Yeah. I get the dog inside. I shut the door and I start looking around and there's wet foot tracks in the house. Yeah. Like we're talking clown shoes. Ah. Like clown shoe foot tracks yes. are in the house. So that motherfucking thing was in here while I was sleeping. Mm-hmm. And then when I went back outside to peek at it again, mm-hmm. I could see the clown. Like it was fully illuminated. I could see the clown and it like, it was trying to get me to go over there. Yeah. It was terrifying. And I know you don't seem like that's that scary. Is that normal to you? No, no. Clowns do terrify me. That's actually one of my fears today Mm. that we were talking about. But let me, let me, let us, let me rile this back. Other than your dream, how has your week been so far, Matt? Still weird. (laughs) Still, still really weird. Yeah. Yeah. Um, It's just been odd. There's yeah. something in the air. Mm-hmm. I don't know what's. I don't know what's going on. Mm-hmm. I really don't know what's going on. But whatever it is, it's not cash money. Yeah, I've been pollution. I've, that's a scary thing. It's all right. Mm-hmm. It doesn't bother me as much. But what about you? How's your week been? Horrible. Absolutely horrible. Wish I can die. You know. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Wish I was the headless uh, thing that you got going. You 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 okay there? Yeah, we're good. You good? I thought I had a itch. But yeah, no, no, my week's been all right. It's, yeah. it's been, has the ups, downs, you know, all arounds. Uh-huh. Same for you. Yeah, everything under the sun. All right, ladies and gentlemen, today on the docket, we are officially in spooky season. By the time you guys are watching this, it is spooky season. And before we get started on anything, I do want to elaborate. If you guys watched the last episode, or if you didn't, go watch it right now. At the end of the episode, that was a very special... <laughs> are you signaling to for, for, for the link? It'll be right here. <laughs> At the end of that, at the end of the video, there was a very special message that 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 I said that I was going to receive. I was going to get a tattoo if we reached fifty subscribers at the end of the year. And I don't think you guys know the how 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 would you say, Matt? I, I don't think you guys know the, the the importance of that because I don't have any tattoos. Oh, yeah, oh, I didn't know what you were talking about. <laughs> I was like, how to say? <laughs> okay, yes. Yeah, so if you guys want to help me get my first tattoo and decide what it is, the only stipulation is I get to decide where it goes. But mm. if you guys want to decide what my fast first tattoo is, hit the subscribe button. Tell your friends, tell your family, tell your aunts, Tell uncles, your grannies. All those. Tell your grannies, grannies, granny. We don't do... De- Gammy? 
Gam Gam. Gam Gam. Gam Gam the yeah. third. Tell your Gam Gams. We don't discriminate here. Mediocrity serves everybody. <laughs> Anyways, guys, it is spooky season officially. Um, I love your costume, by the way. You're doing great. Costume? Yeah. Oh, oh, my apologies. I just, <laughs> this is just what I look like. Yeah. No, just kidding. No, yeah. Where's your costume? Oh, funny you say that, actually. Yeah, I just, I just, I just, uh, I had it right here. Damn. I feel like it's really on brand, you know, because I'm, I'm <laughs> That checks out. <laughs> Are you sure that's a costume, too? No, just kidding. <laughs> I see we both showed up in our natural form. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. Anywho, man. It hurts inside. Yeah. <laughs> Can you breathe in there? I think I'm inhaling the fumes of this. This was made in the 60s. Yeah. So there's a lot of... Yeah, there's a lot of gam gam juice in there. There's just a lot of poisonous <laughs> dyes in here. If I pass out on yeah. screen, keep, keep it rolling. Keep, keep it rolling. Keep it rolling. The show needs to go on. Yeah. <laughs> So, all right. all right, but what what brings us us uh, what brings us here today, Angel? Tell the people. All right, guys, I'm pretty sure that everybody under the sun has had <coughs> fears. We all have fears. Let's not, not lie about them. So, Matt, let me go ahead and pass on the question over to you. What are some of your fears that you would like to show or tell us about today? There's a few fears. Yeah. One of them is a childhood fear. Uh huh. Let me paint you a picture. You're going over to your cousin's house, yes. the rich cousin. Ooh. They have a pool. Yeah. A clean pool. Clean right? pool. Oh, okay. No, no leaves. Yeah. And no, no broken glass bottles at the bottom of the pool. Yeah, no mosquitoes just flying around or anything? Nope. No pee oh. in anything. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. You dive how, into the pool. What? How often do you pee? How often do you pee in a pool? Now? Yeah, nowadays. I um, still, every now and then I sleep in a little pee. Only when I'm getting ready to leave. Ah. Uh, I pee bomb it. Yeah. And I'm out. Do you like walk and stream or do you just stay in one place and then just kind of make a puddle? Um, it's kind of like a, there's a little bit of math involved because I yeah. got to gotta try to like make it seem like it was someone else. Ah. So I kind of drift towards you. Yeah. And then drift and you kind of just swig it away like this, right? I kind of just, and then I just, you'll, you'll, I'm going to swim away. <laughs> and then when I swim away, I'm going to go, what the hell? It's warm over there. Yeah. <laughs> swim away. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Anyway, Gotta set the table. Yeah. If you can blame it on a little kid, it's even easier. It is. Who's the, who they gonna believe? Yeah, a grown adult or the little kid. A grown just... adult wearing a jack o' lantern uh, costume or a fucking eleven year old kid. Right. <laughs> yeah. Easy peasy. Who has the real power here? Yeah. Anywho, rich cousin. Oh, you hop in the pool, close your eyes, cause you know no chlorine in your eyes. Yeah. And then there's a fucking shark attacking you. Like I have this irrational. Fear in, in a pool. In a pool, in a tub. If I put my head in a bucket of water, yes. there's a shark coming for me. What if you're showering? If the water's cold? <laughs> if the water's cold, <laughs> the shark's coming for me. I'm so, for real. I don't know. Like That's the only time I panic. You know how it is. When you take a cold shower, you're just... <sighs> And then a, a shark, I can yeah. feel it. And I feel yeah. like if I don't open my eyes in time, it's going to get It's going to get you. It's like some interdimensional shark. Yeah. It's got to be. It's got to be like a ghost shark. <laughs> so I'm just, ghost shark. A ghost shark. Yeah. So that's my irrational fear. Ghost sharks yeah. in the pool. It, it's, it, the irrational fears are crazy, though, because I do the thing where like I go for a midnight snack. I'm not scared of the dark as much. But I feel like I have to sprint from the fridge all the way back to my bedroom. You just so got like, like that. You got that hustle. Yeah. You got that little hip, yeah, the, yeah, the little, the little, the little yeah. speed walker. Yeah, the little hip, hip, hip swiggle type thing. Mm. You know, I have to, I feel like I have to go a bit quicker so the demons don't catch up to me. And it's so funny. They don't steal my bagels or something. Ah, uh, I'm <laughs> only know? worried about the ones in here. <laughs> Those kind the ones of you can't run away from. <laughs> <laughs> Anywho, Matt, do you mind me sharing one of my fears that I don't think is that irrational, but it's more of a like, here, let me paint you, let me paint you a picture. Let me paint you a realistic picture. All right. No, no, no ghost sharks or anything. All right. Hey, buddy, they're out there. <laughs> they're out there. So in go with ghost sharks is the only thing that stop them is you looking up or yeah. you opening your eyes. Yeah. They can only attack you when your eyes are closed and yeah. you're in water. <laughs> and, you're, and you're in cold water. Yeah. Yeah. Love that. Okay, Matt, let me paint you a picture. Let's say you go over to that. Let's say you're over at your cu that cu rich cousin's house. You know, they have multiple bathrooms. Mm -hmm. I'm talking two downstairs, one upstairs for some reason. Okay. Two of them have showers. One of them is just like a straight up half bathroom. Bath? Yeah, ha you know, it's crazy. You know, you just go in there strictly for business. Okay. All right, let's say you're in one of those, right? You're doing your thing and stuff, you know? Everybody's out in the pool. But little Matt right here mm. is taking a mean one. Little Matt. 
or Lil Mac? <laughs> Who? Which way is this? Which way is this storyline going? <laughs> Lil Mac. No, Matt. Okay. Li- Little Matt, not Lil Matt. L- I'm Lil Matt. Oh, you're That's Lil Matt. That's Little Matt. Matt. <laughs> There's a little bit of difference. One's got street cred. One doesn't. Yeah, one doesn't. <laughs> one gets humiliated. Yeah. And- one gets picked on. <laughs> the other one's cool. <laughs> anyway. Okay. Lil Matt is just doing a doozy. Okay. You're letting it rip in there, bro. Okay. I'm talking like you've had all the chips and everything, like and all the sandwiches. Poor sandwiches actually hit ridiculously hard. Almost like as if you have Chipotle. In the, I've never had Chipotle and the pool at the same time. Mm. Is that a delicacy? Mm-hmm. Well, like, I'm saying like the after effects of eating Chipotle. Oh, yeah, you're, yeah, You're yeah, bombing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, yeah. yeah, so, so, so you get the picture. You're absolutely nailing that toilet, right, Matt? You go into wipe, and you're wiping. You're doing your thing, you know. You're about to finish. You're, you're going to go out there with the cousins and, you know, cannonball in it. Mm-hmm. Steal a show. But as you're flushing down, Matt, Uh-oh. you... Clog the toilet. You clog the toilet. Damn. And there is no plunger to your left. And the water is slowly, slowly rising. Uh, but, but there is leftover little mat residue in the toilet. Uh, who am I at again? Where am I at? My cousins? Yeah, your cousins. Did my mom drive me here? Uh, she dropped you off. Fuck. Yeah. How far do I live from my cousin? Uh, I'm running. As a kid, I would say 16 miles. That's what it feels like, but it's usually like... It's usually like seven. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I'm running. <laughs> you run it home? Nah, I'm going to I'm gonna take the L. It depends on who's there, but I'm, if I can find someone in my family that's there I can blame it on, Uh huh. then I'll do it. So, see, I gave you an easy, easy way out. What was that? It's a pool party. Oh. Everybody's outside. You can just book it and be like, oh, what the fuck? Who did that? Yeah, I forgot. Come uh, on, man. I forgot. Like, let me. Let people me. don't have cameras <laughs> in the bathroom. Like they don't have like, unless the family has like a ring camera and they could trace it. Yeah, you might be able to get away with it. The perfect crime, right? Just leave residue. No, okay. So realistically, if I were to clog some toilet, like yeah. when I was at someone's house, l- l- that, that's that's fucking scary. Yeah, it's literally scary. Because what do you do? It's it's humiliating. Like, not only do you gotta now help me like clean this shit up. Yes, literally. It's like, do I do it, or I, are you gonna do it? It's your, it's your toilet. Like, you want to make someone else clean up your? I don't your, fucking know your your doo doo. I don't know. No, I don't know. Let's say you're over at like a friend's friend house. Okay, that was my next level to this. This is actual fear. It's someone you know about, but mm-hmm. you don't know, and you're using their bathroom. I think you cut your losses and uh, and just be like, hey. You just know. You just you're never seeing those friends again. You're just going to be the story. And be like, remember that one dude, the shit in my apartment? Like, everyone's got that story. Yeah. Somewhere. Not me, though. Y'all be easy. <laughs> I shit outside like an animal. Yeah. No. But speaking of shitting in irrational fear, I had this weird, I still kind of do, is shitting in the wild. I just feel like something's going to get out there, man. It's just uncomfortable. Yeah. Did you guys do that when you went camping? What, shit? In the wild? Well, I have to do it somewhere. Yeah, did you, but like, did you do it like a bear? <laughs> Can you elaborate that? Like an animal, like you just you just walk that way. Yeah, I yonder. Wa- I I walk I walk over yonder. I squat and do my thing, and then just. Yeah, see, it just doesn't seem like that cash money, you know. Well, what's the alternative? Not- I don't know. Don't they have like portable toilets? <laughs> Depending on where you go camping, honestly. Get like a bedpan. What's that? A bedpan. A you never wh- been to a hospital? Oh, those those flush things. Those bedpans. But then, what do you do with that? <laughs> I don't fucking know. Oh my god! Like, it, it lands on your tia. <laughs> you throw it on your tent. <laughs> so yes, shitting in someone's house and clogging it up. I don't uh-huh. care who it is. I think it, I think there's tears to it though. Yes. Family member, not horrible. Like horrible, but yeah. not bad. Friend of a friend, embarrassing. Not too bad. Your girlfriend's house or the or in-laws, the in-laws, Yo. or you know what I'm saying, like a shouty that you're trying to make a good impression with. No, no, I, I, I still feel like that one's uh, a step below because, again, you can, like, leave her, you know? You don't really have to see her. But, like, let's say it's the in-laws. Mm. You have to see them. Yeah, because they're going to bring it up. Yeah. Remember that, that- time Angel shit in that bathroom <laughs> and plugged it up? <laughs> you know, and then you're just going to be like, hey, yo, what the fuck? Hey, yo, man. Hey. Gam, what? gam. What's up? <laughs> What's up, man? All right, Matt. Uh, what, what is another one of your irrational fears? 
Um, I don't really have too many of that. You know, dying alone. You know, uh, never reaching my full potential. Yeah. Uh, disappointing everybody around me. Oh, this is just my diary. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> 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 just kidding. <laughs> Are you? <laughs> I cannot uh, take you seriously in that jacket. I don't think you took me seriously at all. This I thought this would help. Maybe you, you know, I th- I thought maybe the man behind the mask <laughs> this would allow me to open up. All right, what's something that you wanted to share with me that you Okay, yeah, before? yeah. So okay, so that was it for my my irrational <laughs> my irrational fear. My irrational fear was sharks in the pool. Yeah. Or sharks whenever I close my water, uh, close my eyes and I'm in water. Yes. Uh, but one of my real fears, piggybacking on that, is the ocean. Uh-huh. The ocean scares the shit out of me. What part of it? All of the wet spots. <laughs> <laughs> so anywhere that is wet yes. is what scares the fuck out of me. Because it's like, you don't have, I, like we talked about this, i rather die on land than die in the ocean. At least on land I could run <laughs> or something crawl yeah. Yeah. like in the ocean that's just not our territory and there's so much stuff in there that could that could destroy you you don't think you can take on a shark realistically in a shallow part bro i can't even take i can't even <laughs> ghost shark gets me no now that i think about it i can't even handle ghost shark no no i think i can take on a shark bro i mean i saw jaws yeah and then deep blue sea i don't know about that one sharknado sharknado meg 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 two haven't seen that one uh, sharks on a plane? <laughs> no, just imagine. <laughs> That'd be funny. Hey, That'd be hey, funny. That'd be hey. funny. I don't know how to work, but we'll figure it out. <laughs> we'll figure it out. Uh, no, uh, cargo. Um, uh, they're just transporting sharks. Yeah. And then they just get loose mm. in the plane. I feel like that'd be really funny. I think we can make it work. Sharks on a plane. No, but um, no, I don't think you can. I, maybe, maybe you can fight a shark. I think I can fight a shark. I don't know. What I, I, I don't do? You know. have weapons? I think if I just like you gotta punch it in the nose really in, hard in the, in the nose or in the eye. I've seen I've seen a guy. What if you miss and your whole fucking arm goes in its mouth? See, you only get one shot in but, water though. This is what I'm saying on 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 oh, on land. Shoot. On land, I feel like I could right on land. I could shoot 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 shoot, <laughs> shoot right because I got all that power from my legs. Yeah, but in the water, I'm literally just waist up. Yeah, I ain't got no power. So Damn. my my punch, I'm gonna. It's like it's like punching your dreams. Yeah. So it's like no, it's not happening. Damn, I think you might just be breaking my dreams right now. <sighs> Give that shark some damn legs and see me on land, son. You wouldn't want to fight a shark with legs. That'd be. I don't want to fight a shark at all. Yeah. But give it some legs. So what animal could you take on in a one-on-one match? Definitely a chicken. Yeah. I think I could do a koala. <laughs> Koalas. Those things are vicious. Though. I probably could sleep a deer. I can knock out a deer. I think I can. I think I could kick it in his leg and then. Yeah. I think I can get it. Easily. Bam, Bambi can get this two-piece combo real quick. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But uh, what else? Uh, A small monkey? Yeah. Like like, uh, like a chimpanzee? Yeah. Or maybe like a lemur? That's an, that's not a monkey. Or like a lemur? Or- <laughs> <laughs> that, was a, that was a cute... That was a, that was a comma there. <laughs> and or a lemur. And- Dude, we're so off topic. I don't know what oh, we're talking oh, about. Anymore. Okay, go ahead. So yeah, so again, uh, the ocean scares the shit out of me because rationally, sharks, jellyfish, yeah, um, just Sting, just stingrays. just the sting, I, oh, bro, I went to an sting. aquarium a couple years ago, yeah, and I I punched the stingray. You punched a stingray for Steve Irwin, man. St- <laughs> Is that how he died? I, I got yeah, yeah, a stingray. Got him in the chest. He only died though because he was being macho man and pulled it out. It's the only time you pull out, and it's a bad thing. <laughs> so, right. um, but yeah, no, but irrationally in the ocean, the Loch Ness monster, Cthulhu, UFOs, the Bermuda Triangle in the ocean. Yeah, UFOs. That's where people think they they come from. What about from outer space? What if outer space is the ocean? Yo, just saying. And that's why people haven't gone all the way deep down. Wow. Or maybe... I don't fucking know, bro. Do fish know that they're in water? So, like, how do we know we're not in some sort of... Water? (laughs) 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 Why are you laughing? Okay, buddy. 
Okay, Matt. So can I go ahead and show and share with you one of my other fears? Yeah. So I generally do not wear a lot of khakis, but every time I do, I have this one fear because I generally am kind of known for going to the bathroom a lot. Okay. So what Bladder are, problems or just like super hydrated? I don't know. Mm. I do drink water, That's but I, you know, but I, I actually don't know. Maybe I should talk to my doctor. Maybe you should do that. Anyways, so one of my big fears, and khaki pants are the worst because they're so light. You know, like when you're peeing, out to, to all the guys out there, you know, like when you're peeing and you're holding your thing, and you, 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 you do the thing, you finish, and then you kind of do a little shake. And what's up? Hold, holding it? Hold, yeah. Hold, hold, hold. Holding it. <laughs> like a cigarette, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Just. Cool, cool, cool. You, I just didn't, I didn't know what that motion was. <laughs> Anywho, you know, like when you're peeing, right? Sure. And you go to put it back in your pants. And actually, do you, do you throw out like your whole dick and balls when you pee? Or how do you, what's, what's your process? Yeah. I mean, kind of, I kind of elephant trunk it, you know? Yeah. Kind of let it like one of those party, you know, you yeah. kind of just let it, yeah. you know? Spring out with the. Yeah. With you got to like, yeah. naturally unfold. Yeah. That's a dangerous then, game though. Cause it doesn't always go straight. Sometimes it. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Yeah. So you just hope that you don't, you yeah. know, um, like friendly God. fire anyone. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know. No, that's happened to me though. Like, like you friendly, friendly fire. fire someone? No, or yourself. Myself. Mm. Bro, one time I was, this was at school and I was wearing khakis. Mm. This is where that fear comes from. Oh, shit. My friend, I was on the urinal okay. and my friend. You were on it? <laughs> I was in front of a urinal. Okay. <laughs> Not just me, just... Yeah, I don't know, man. <laughs> I've seen no. someone take a shit in the urinal. So. I did too, bro. I walked in on a kid shitting in a urinal. Yeah, I don't know. He might, he might have been ahead of his time. Who knows? What do you mean? It's kind of like the fast lane for pooping. <laughs> but the, how do you wipe? Do you just stick your ass as it's flushing? You use the water when it's rinsing yeah, yeah, out. Yeah, you yeah. bidet yourself. Uh... Not that I've done it or anything. No, no, no. But so I'm peeing mm -hmm. and my friend does one of these. He just yank. Uh. <laughs> And I'm Bro. just like, yo, and it kind of handling toxic material here, buddy. <laughs> no, but watch out. Ge genuinely, one of my fears is when you put, you know, your little you put guy, uh -huh. you put, you put it back, and it does a little spurt thing. That is r a really big fear of mine because I'm like, how do I explain this? Any guy out there knows what he's talking about. Women probably won't. You you don't think women have the equivalent of that? Not the way that not the not the way that we do. Women we have it. Let us know. <sighs> I mean, if y'all want, <laughs> it's not a requirement, but let us know. So I, uh, yeah, no, I think it's because like, obviously the anatomy, we're getting too much into this, but obviously the anatomy of it at the end, it's a little cut off because of your pants. Like, unless you fully like unzip, some people don't fully, you know what I'm saying? Some people use their little boxer hole. Some people kind of use the boxer hole. No, I'm not insane. But That's weird. I, you know, I used to when I was little. It's harder when you have briefs. Yeah. Then you gotta. You don't. You, you gotta do yeah. the thing. You gotta do. You gotta the, do the maze. Yeah. Yeah. And sometimes you just don't have time. It's no. Like, it's like do or die. You know. It's, 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 so that's why you just elephant ele elephant truck it. Yeah. I, but what? So so what's your what's the fear? Right. So the fear is that you dribble on yourself. Yes. Okay. And the fear is like it's like am I because I do the pat down. I wet my hands. Oh yeah yeah. You know, just, oh just, shit! Nah, I'll yeah. go, I'll go to the extremes and I'll spill something on myself in front of everyone. Ah! What if you're not in a place where there's spillage? You know? Mm. What if you're at a funeral? Oh well, I'll just say I was crying <laughs> through your dick. Just heavily, <laughs> I just had my head down and my tears. Would I was just letting them fall. I never wipe away my tears. They're like precious reminders of. What what once was? Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> <laughs> what the? <fuck? laughs> Woo! We're good, man. It's the toxic fumes. <laughs> we're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. Anyway, what's your next fear, man? Oh, you want me to go next? What do you do in that situation? Oh, I do the same thing. I I, I rinse some water. I get my hands. I pretend like I'm in a hurry. Wipe yeah. I put handprints so you know my hands were down there. <laughs> All right, Matt, let's go ahead and get into actual fears. Let's stop jumping around Ooh. the question. Okay. What are some of your 
actual fears I bring you to your knees. Mm. <laughs> Big titty goth girls. <laughs> yeah. I'm just kidding. Ooh, oh, I'm so scared. Oh, I'm so scared of oh, them. No. I, I hope, hope one of them I, doesn't follow I me. I hope home. one of them doesn't fucking follow me into the back. I'd be terrified. No, I'm just kidding. Um, so I actually one of my fears, um, and this stems from like a childhood one. I am extremely claustrophobic. Ah. Well, Yes, I'm extremely claustrophobic. So <laughs> did you have to just think about that? Ah, it's because, like, as a kid, I felt like I couldn't control the variables of my claustrophobia as much as I can as an adult. Yeah. Whereas, like, for example, my parents would be like, "We're going to a hotel. Let's get in the elevator." I don't like elevators. Yeah. They're just not cash money to me. Um, as a kid, I didn't have a choice. Whereas an adult, I will take the stairs if it's reasonable. Yeah. If it's two, two flights, three flights, four, five maybe. Yeah. But I'll do it because I, I, like, I have a really bad like, fear of being claustrophobic. So anytime I think of like prison, it's what keeps me on the straight and narrow. I don't think I can. The walls. The, you know, hmm. Yeah. No. It's not, the, it's not the prison guards. It's not the shakes or anything. It's, it's the not walls. the criminals in there. It's not the involuntary man love. Yeah. It's the walls. It's being in a six by eight. Mm. Yeah. That's the one that, that's the kicker. That's what gets me. That's what keeps <laughs> me on the straight and narrow. No, but yes, um, claustrophobia is one of my like actual fears. So yeah. yeah, I'm letting you guys know one of my weaknesses won't happen again. Y'all be easy. Y'all be easy. Not me though. Okay. Can I, can I go ahead and let you know like one of my actual fears Yeah. that I'm truly terrified of? Yeah. Accidentally killing somebody. <sighs> It's like, I think that's one of the worst ways to do manslaughter? it. Manslaughter? Involuntary manslaughter? Yeah. What do you go to jail for? Or is it just, it, is it, it just very... You it, just said that, it, like, like manslaughter too. But the, is it like, what, at what... I've heard met people get away with manslaughter. Yeah. Like, what's the parameters? If it was, if it was legit an accident? Uh-huh. Because, like, what if, like, my brakes just went out? It's like a faulty thing, and then, like, I hit someone and they die. Like, I'll go to jail for that? Depending on your lawyer... And what the fuck? Uh, yeah, the the jurisdiction system is really fucked. That's what there, I'm saying. Like there was there was a case. Don't you remember? Like two years ago, where the one of the truck drivers' bra- brakes like were faulty. He could not brake, and he ended up killing like a handful of people on the freeway. It wasn't here. I think it was in Texas or something. And he went to jail. Yeah, he was he was facing life in prison. What the fuck? Yeah, when it was an accident. That scares me. Yeah, that scares me. That scares me too. But I I think what ki- what what really really truly terrifies me is taking a life like i don't know oh no no not that part <laughs> goes back to the jail yeah i can live with the guilt yeah i can live with the voices in my head yeah. haunting me but it's just being inside but of being in water. that six by eight man i don't know what it is i'll freak the fuck out but go ahead no just like killing somebody it's like how 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 i can't even live with the, the idea of me upsetting somebody right now. Oh, shit. You're like, I hate it when I hurt someone's feelings. feelings. Now imagine taking... But they're dead. They don't have feelings. So you... you <laughs> <laughs> Robbie, clip that. Fuck. Quote of the day. Have you seen Robbie, actually? I'm kind of worried. It's spooky season. And he's a petite boy. He got mad and he said he was going to go to the woods. I haven't yeah. seen him since. Speaking of that, one of my fears is human trafficking as well. Being kidnapped. Oh. Now someone as pretty as myself yeah. always has that fear because you know there's there's never a shortage of funny attractive people out there. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> so a human trafficker is looking he's like, damn, that funny one right there. That funny that, that dude was fucking hilarious. <laughs> Let's get him. He can keep us entertained on the ride over there. Yeah? Yeah. Do you think r- realistically, how many guys could you fight out? Like let's say they're coming at uh, like at a time Realistically Yeah I'm 70 ta- I've seen IP men <laughs> At that point yeah. It's just survival Yeah Yeah I've watched enough Kung fu movies to know Yeah Only You know realistically <laughs> If you want to look at it Metrically Uh huh You can Only like five or six people Can really fight you at a time Yeah As opposed to space Or they can just All jump on you If you're talking like Hand to hand combat Yeah mm. I always find it so funny That in movies They take turns fighting yeah, they wait. Yeah, it's they're like, like yeah, and you're just like, wouldn't, wouldn't it be smart if like... Okay, so speaking of that, real quick, 
yes, human trafficking is scary. But you know what else is scary? I saw a video. I follow this Twitter page where it's like it's called like All About Phoenix or something. Yes. And there was a, at Westgate. Um, Westgate's been fucking wild lately. If you go For to Westgate, a couple of years, dude. Don't. It's been like it's turning like ghetto. Like people are getting shot. Mm-hmm. People, this guy, the video I saw, this guy was getting jumped, bro. And I'm talking like these motherfuckers were, I don't know how the guy was alive because they were actually landing some very concerning shots on him. Uh-huh. I'm talking like kicking him in the head multiple times. Like you can only get kicked in the head so many times. And then the cops came and like tackled them and shit. Like it was, it was crazy, but it's like at Westgate. I just don't remember it being like that bad. Yeah. So it, is, is one of your fears being at Westgate now or uh yeah but i think it's that unruly like being in the wrong place wrong time yeah yeah that's always scary Mm -hmm. having a normal night out and then it just turned like from zero to a hundred yeah just wake up dead man you can't wake up dead (laughs) no you can't go to bed dead (laughs) yeah you can because you can go to bed and not be dead but you could be dead and not be in the bed you just speak straight <laughs> facts, man. Yeah, you stay dropping you knowledge. You stay dropping knowledge. <laughs> Shout out if you know that. <laughs> <laughs> Every time. Jesus Christ. You know what We're, my fear is that I'm going to have to keep carrying this goddamn podcast. Okay, There's buddy. No All right, buddy. <laughs> what do you mean by that? What the fuck do <laughs> you mean? All right, we're putting a poll down here. Popularity poll. Popularity poll. Who's, who's been carrying the podcast? <laughs> I like how we just point you to each other. gotta be humble, no, you know what I'm saying? Like, like, no, I'm just no. kidding. It's a collective carry. It's like it's like we're it's like moving a couch. <laughs> <laughs> it's, yeah, yeah. Well, you're never really synced at the same time, so no. So we're constantly so, so like <laughs> can't really get it through the door type shit. <laughs> but anyway, so yes, um, human trafficking and being out in this dangerous world has become a fear. Yeah, it's easier to just stay home. I have this weird um, sense that I can, I can protect myself though. You know what I'm telling you? If we're out there and we get in the scruffle, I think I can take you. Me? Yeah, I think I can take you. No? I don't know, man. Maybe. If you land a punch on me or you grab a hold of me, uh huh. I'm moaning. But, <laughs> <laughs> but if that doesn't work as a defense, yeah. I'm pretty slimy, bro. Yeah. I get, when when I'm about to fight, I oil myself up. Uh, yeah. When I'm getting ready, I put baby oil all on me. And that, I get butt naked. That'd be, on, <laughs> dude, seriously, mm-hmm. seriously, that is not talked about enough. If you just strip down naked and you're like, let's go. If you show your butthole, <laughs> I think that's like, it's kind of like when a skunk puts his butt in there and you know, you're like, hey, 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 I don't, hmm, never mind, buddy. Because a skunk's not intimidating. <laughs> no. Until it turns around and shows you <laughs> that ass. You know? Yeah. So. It just, it just. <laughs> just take one out of the skunks book right? why not but you just yeah. spread them and then just pucker just no your ass or you eat. both <laughs> it starts here this is, starts here and it's there too both ends can get it so I don't know I don't think he can take me though we're gonna have to do a boxing match one day oh float like a butterfly stings when I pee you know what I'm saying <laughs> Or whatever Muhammad Ali said. Yeah. Yeah. I'm pretty sure we, I don't know. Can we I, I, again, I think Angel, I think right now I could be Angel. He would have to, if you were angry, I think I'd be a little scared. If like angry you. Angry me? Yeah. Like, like literally angry you, I yeah. think would be a problem because it's just brute strength at that point. Yeah. But then again, I don't think I'm like ridiculously strong. That's my, that, my best friend is one of like the strongest. Is he strong? No, nah, he's not strong. He didn't say. <laughs> <laughs> can we get back to fears yeah my bad my bad my bad my bad my bad having my friends and family die i think like if we're talking strictly straight up fears in this world but that's a fear yo, i feel like you can't think about well no i don't spend my time thinking about this but like but it's in, a fear. In, in preparation with this episode hey to break it to you man I, everyone dies spoiler, yeah spoiler alert yeah yeah. This is where we kind of have a difference because I have never had anybody die in my family. Mm-hmm. I think it's more the fear of uh, I, w- I wouldn't even know what to do or how to begin that whole grief and how to live life post someone that I love not being here. Um, that is a fear because I was, I was once you where I really didn't have anyone significant. I think my grandpa, 
I think my grandpa passed away, mm-hmm. but I wasn't like super close to him. Although I did, um, I think in the afterlife, when my grandpa was one of my guardian angels, but I wasn't close to him in this plane. Mm-hmm. But when he died, I wasn't like, unfortunately, and I don't mean this in any disrespect, grandpa, wherever you at, I don't, I don't mean it, but, uh, it didn't feel like I didn't feel anything. You know what I'm saying? I lost some uncles. wasn't close. Mm-hmm. I think it was um, once you lose someone like a mom, a parent, a sibling, someone, anyone you're close to, a friend. Uh-huh. Uh, yeah, you don't. Everyone reacts different. You don't know how you're gonna react. I really didn't even process it until I don't know. It takes a while. It takes a while to really. It just depends on your grieving process. I wouldn't recommend doing what I did. Mm-hmm. Waste too much time. To even address it, mm-hmm. I think I don't think I addressed it for about two years, so I was in limbo. Uh-huh. Uh huh. But that is a fear. That was a fear. But now that it's happened, I'm not saying it gets easier. Of course not. But that I think that initial one, especially when it's your first big one, I think that obviously that's fucking scary. Mm-hmm. So yeah, for sure, it sucks. Do you have any advice? Um. Uh, yes. Uh, like on a real note, uh, I think, I think counseling should be immediate. Uh I pushed off grief counseling, like a therapist type stuff. I think some people need to do that and like as soon as they can, because I think you need to learn how to start the pro everyone's process is different. Um, what worked for me isn't going to work for you or it might. It's just everyone's different. If I had some actual advice, like I said, I, I wouldn't, I, I would say let yourself grieve. You have to, people don't understand, like we're so self contained in terms of our emotions for society. Like we don't, a lot of us think that we shouldn't be feeling what we're feeling or a lot of us feel like we need to be strong. So you, you, you fight it. You fight that, like you fight that grieving. You don't let yourself actually heal. Uh-huh. And what I did, the mistake I made was I drowned myself in everything. Like I, I, I was smoking seven to eight times a day, mm-hmm. like to be numb. I didn't, I didn't even want to deal with it. If I was as high as I can get, I didn't have to deal with it. And then I drowned it in distractions, gaming, um, just anything that can get my mind off of that stuff, basketball, but even that was a little hard. Usually it was the gaming. I lost, I lost two years just not dealing with it the way that I felt like I should have. Mm-hmm. And then after that third year, I was like, okay, something's not right. Like I actually needed to do that. So like I said, my advice would be to actually address it and seek help immediately because doing it on your own is a long, long, long process. Now, some people out there have different ways of grieving. Some people don't have that initial reaction. Some people... And I don't mean this in a bad way, but some people don't care sometimes or care enough. Uh-huh. Um, or some people don't know how to express that. So again, it's, <clears throat> it's, um, it really depends on you, but I definitely wouldn't run from it. That's my, that's my main advice. Don't run from it because I ran from it and all it did was prolong the healing process. Mm-hmm. Took me three years after my mom passed away for me to be like, okay, I feel better. And it still sucks. You don't ever really get over it. You you kind of just live with it. You kind of you kind of know because it still hit like randomly, bro. I'll hear a song, or I'll see a picture, or I'll have a memory or a dream, and it's like it brings that stuff up. But you just kind of learn how to handle it better. Does that make sense? That's really comforting. Yeah, it's nice. On a on like a r- spooky episode, I think that's one of the most bright things that I could hear. Generally, thank you. Yeah, of course. Because um, yeah. Generally, I am, I am yeah. scared of death, but not for myself m- nowadays. It's for the people around me that I love. You know, I'm like, I don't know if I can. Piggybacking on this, one mm-hmm. of my worst fears is being in an accident and being the sole survivor. I feel like I am. Like I, survivor's guilt? Survivor's guilt. I feel like I would be so prone to that. And it'd be ridiculous. Damn. I've had nightmares of that. Constantly. Not me. Y'all be easy. <laughs> Shoo. As long as Can't I'm keep me right. down. As long as I'm not in that back six to the by lobby eight. for y'all. <laughs> yeah, they're in the gulag <laughs> now. <laughs> it hurts so much. <laughs> I'm just kidding. 
But yeah, so okay, that is that is actually a genuine like fear. Like pr- before, I had lost my mom. I didn't have that experience, and it was it was a fear, but I didn't really like think about it too much until it happens, and then you're like, <laughs> shit. Uh huh. Yeah. So no, it it, it gets high or it doesn't. I don't know. It does. it does. I'm kidding. It does. It does. You'll have some nice pockets, hand. Hey. For any up, occasion. Up on the merch store. Hey. Pockets. You should have used it in your in your nightmare. Just a whiff of pockets, hand. Make the clown go away. Uh, bro, I was, you don't understand. Maybe it's because I had the mask on and you weren't taking me serious. <laughs> but, like, that dream was terrifying, dog. Because, yeah. like, I, I saw... Bro, it's a fucking clown. And he's like... And then I shut the door and there's big-ass clown wet tracks in here. He oh. was walking in here while I was sleeping. So, so, so I, I, I think what I'm not grasping is that in your dream, you thought it was like reality because you had yes. woken up. Yes. Okay. I thought it, I thought I woke up in my dream. So yeah. I got out of bed and I was, and I like go to the door and the door the wind's blowing. Yeah. There's rain like coming in through the door. Like it's it's hard, heavy lightning night. Yes. And I look outside and I'm trying to get my dogs and my dogs are running around and there's a fucking clown with balloons telling me to get the fuck over there. Uh huh. So I shut the door and I lock it and I'm inside and then you look at the ground and there's fucking tracks everywhere. Yeah. And then I look for my PlayStation because <laughs> I was like, what the fuck? I was like, yo. I had this, n- not a fe- well, yeah, it's kind of a, f- a fear dream mm-hmm. that I thought was reality, but it was more silly than anything. Mm-hmm. I was like nine years old. And in that dream, I committed Grand Theft Auto. I stole a, 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 a car. And then I went for a joyride, you know? Okay. And I ended up crashing into my neighbor's house, like the neighbor that was directly in front of me. Damn. And the car and the, st- the car st- went on fire, and the house went Damn. on fire. And I ran into my house. And, and I just pre- went to bed? And I pretended to be asleep. Oh, shit. So when I woke up, mm-hmm. I did not know if I had just done that or not. Uh, so I'm like creeping out. Yeah. And I'm just like. Is the house uh, fire? Did anybody? Hey, um, huh? did anybody hear a crash last night, <laughs> or is that me? <laughs> yeah. So. Y'all covered in blood. Yeah, actually. <laughs> covered in blood. <laughs> <laughs> Clothes are all burned and shit. Yeah. Look like Spider Man with his rip suit. Usually. <laughs> Wait, me? me? Crap? No, no, of course not. I was out by like eight thirty. <laughs> Hell no, I didn't crash in the living room. Hell no, I don't even know how to drive. I didn't run Mr. Jenkins over. You crazy? Have you ever had sleep paralysis? Um, Once. That's a scary thing. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) What? I'm trying to fucking recollect. My bad. You're bringing me back. I'm like, (laughs) yeah, yeah. No, yeah, I've had it. Um, Now you know how I felt last episode. Are you kidding me? I was constantly turning um, over my... You get used to it, though. <laughs> Bro, I'll, like, watch some scary shit in the dark. I'll scare myself on purpose. Yeah. That's why I like scary movies. Uh-huh. It's very rare that a scary movie bothers me, but, like, watching it alone... If you're... A lot of people are always like, I like watching scary movies, but they watch them with the lights on. They with watch the it, you know what I'm saying? Friends. No, but, like, even if they're by themselves, they're still watching it with the lights. Like, watch... Open all your fucking doors in your house and your windows. Leave them open. Turn off all the lights and watch a scary movie and tell me if you could do it. Is you, it is you can't. <laughs> you can't. Open, your, open all your doors in the middle of the night. Open all my doors in the middle of the night? Leave them open and then put a scary movie on. <laughs> Crackhead will walk in and scare yeah. the shit. That's the <laughs> point. That's the point. <laughs> and, like, set the mood. That- <laughs> it's easy when you got all these fucking lights. <laughs> what? That's the test of a real a real horror fan right there. Any type of scary movie. I'm a movie. horror fan. Oh yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh well, you know, you ain't wrong. We like whores. <laughs> um, another couple of fears, real quick. Uh, claustrophobia. Like we have like real ones. Um, you want to know another irrational one that I forgot to mention? Yeah. <laughs> Balloons. Popping. Cause that, yes. 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 If my nephew will grab a balloon and he'll just like. And it fucking drives me insane. And yeah. when I was younger, people used to chase me with balloons because they would put them in my face. And I'd freak the fuck out. I don't like when balloons are in, like, 
inflated to the max. Yeah. And then and when the, people put them towards my face, I just, it's not even that I'm scared of the physical balloon. It's like the pop. Yeah. It's, it's the sensory it's the thing. jump scare that yeah. I'm just kind of, you know? Jump scare. It's, yeah. It's literally, because I don't know when it's going to pop and I'm always like, you'll see me. If you ever see me at a party and people are playing with balloons, I'm like, I'm like twitching. They think I'm an NPC. I'm malfunctioning. I, uh, balloons is one of my irrational fears. Shout out to everybody out yeah. there because now everybody's going to give me balloons. Watch. All right. I'll one-up you with that. Birds. <laughs> I hate birds. I'm, it's their flapping, bro. Uh, I, can, yeah, I can. I like that. I like that. I like you, that. You like birds flapping? I like that. I know that. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. I know that. Yeah. A little bit of content we can figure out. And bees. Eh, I'm bees not are a, nice. No, they're not. Bees are fucking nice. Okay. Save the bees. Yeah, but wasps. Okay, oh. yeah, no, fuck wasps. Yeah. They are just menace to society. Yes. They're like roaches. I don't think they have... Any, what do roaches do? What do wasps do? Wasps just are angry at everyone for no reason. I, unfortunately, they're just part of the ecosystem. You can't really get worried about them. Sure you can. No, but I feel like it's one of those things like... You can uh, nuke them. No, they survive nukes. Ah, fuck. Yeah, no, but did you watch that? Speaking of, speaking of spooky, did you watch that movie, um, The Happening? Where like <laughs> that was one of the worst movies I've ever seen in my life, bro. I swear to God, I swear to God. M- Marky Mark was just like I just what? I don't yeah. What what, what happened? What, what what are we gonna do? <laughs> I don't, I don't, bro, that movie was and then I had a I had an ex girlfriend. Uh, shout out to you if if I'm not gonna say her name, but she was she was um she was my first love in eighth grade. Ah uh, yeah. But when we became adults, I remember she posted um, on social media that one of her favorite movies was The Happening. Uh-huh. <laughs> I was like, fake. like, I'm like, what a casual, <laughs> fucking casual movie goer here. I was like, the ha- bro, that's honestly like, it, the concept was okay. And it's yeah. a real phenomenon. Like the, it's a, that, what the, f- the, 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 what is it? You got it. The ecosystem, like, like. That pheromone is a real thing. Yeah, but not to that degree. Not to that degree, but it's yeah. a real phenomenon that happens with like bugs or small animals. It's something like on a minor scale. That makes them kill themselves? Yeah, it makes them like jump off bridges or some shit. I don't know. Is it a, is it, is it a pheromone or is it the fungus? I don't know. Cause the, what was in the movie? Was it a fungus? Because it was always the wind. No, it, it, in the fungus, it was like some something in the wind, but I think it's in real life, it's more like a fungus that... Mm, I don't know, but whatever it is, that movie sucked. It did suck. It, it sucked. It did suck. So, um, speaking of, real quick, so speaking of spooky, do you have any like spooky movies that you like to watch around this time? Ooh. Um, I'm going to be honest, I'm not much of a spooky guy. I'm not, but if I have to pick, mm-hmm. if I have to pick, Freddy vs. Jason. <laughs> I like Classic. that one. I love that. You know? you know, I saw that in theaters. Did you? Back in the day. My mm-hmm. dad took me. You know the part where, at the end, where what's her face is in the dream, and Freddie's got his claw, and he's like going up her dress. Yeah. And then he's like being all nasty. Yeah. Well, he's trying to, right? Yeah. Um, he just like me for real. And yeah. he, he, gets, he gets up to like right, you know, like right about her, right about her high thigh area. Yeah. And I'm watching it, right? You're watching it. And I'm like, breaked up. And the fucking screen goes black. Yeah. And I was like, all right, something's about to happen. And I hear noise. Like, we, the audio is still playing. Yeah. And I'm like, all right. Breaked up. And then the screen is still black mm-hmm. after about two minutes. <laughs> and I'm like, is this part of the movie? Mm-hmm. And then the lights come on. And they're like, ladies and gentlemen, we're sorry. We're having technical difficulties. The something, something broke. Uh-huh. Please exit to this one. We will reimburse you. So, like, I didn't know how that movie ended until it came out on DVD. Uh huh. Because I, I don't, I don't even never, know. I don't my dad even, never took me back. I don't even know how it ended. How, what was it? We'll follow that scene. Uh, no, 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 no. They, oh, so the reason why she, they get Freddy out of the dream, they pulled him out. Yeah, but that happened early in this in the thing, no? No, they realized they could do it because she pulled his ear out of the dream. Uh huh. And then they were like, "Oh, we can do this." Blah, blah. So then they sedate her, give her a timer. Yeah. Then Freddie was being nasty, and then she was able to hold on to him. She woke up, brought him here, Jason, and then him and Jason fought. Yeah. And then they got they they got fucked up together. Yeah. And then 
Freddy was alive on the dock, and he was about to sing, you know? And then Jason stabbed him with his own arm. Yeah. And then fell in the water. And oh, so Freddy, you missed that entire... Yeah, like, oh. I, I didn't even see him come out of the dream. Uh-huh. There was at least 30 minutes left. Yeah. I thought you were... I thought there was, like, a maybe, a, like, a... Like, the end? The end. No, no, was no, no. Just no. Like, it, was, it was, like, the climax. Yeah. Like, the movie was about to nut, and it yeah, just... Yeah, and you were, too. I was, like, I yeah. was ready, and then the screen went black, and I was, yeah. like, all right, go, 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 go. Was that your first blue ball? N- no, I've never actually had that. A blue ball? Yeah. I didn't, I didn't even know that was actually... I thought that was, like, an expression. Uh-huh. Like, I didn't think it was a real thing. Yeah, like the female orgasm, like, like or uh, the the cl- clitoris. What the fuck is that? What was that? Is that French? <laughs> but yeah, no. Uh, do you, uh, any other movies? Really quick. Uh spooky. Halloween I, is always a must. Yeah, it depends on which one. There's one that I like. I just don't know which one it is. Cause H two O. Huh? Halloween H two O. I don't know. Okay, I don't know. No, but I like I like as cheesy as they are. I like the paranormal. Yeah. The paranormal activity, activity. the Seriously? Mexican one. Oh, the which one is that one? The marked ones. Three, four, three, four, four, three, four. Yeah, yeah. For no. me, one of my favorite movies is Sinister. It's crazy. Uh huh. It's just weird. It's the soundtrack that gets it too. Mm-hmm. And then, um, my favorite thing to watch during spooky season is Michael Jackson's Thriller video, classic. And I, I watch it. I have to. It's like a. It's like a must. Yeah. So I just like Michael Jackson in general. That's why evolution just freaks me the fuck out. Real quick question. Um, who has a better catalog in a versus in a music versus uh-huh. black Michael Jackson or white Michael Jackson what era does my, white Michael Jackson start is it bad I think so I, think, I don't know I think so would you call that or is it like light skinned he's white we'll leave that up to y'all that is a good question I'm just saying in a versus who wins you know that is a good question <laughs> I think black. I think black Michael Jackson because he has the Jackson Five and everything before that. I think that's but, yeah. I don't know why yeah. Michael Jackson had some. Had he some did shit, have some. He had some heat. All right, guys, we're gonna start wrapping it up. It's gonna be a little bit of a short video today. Oh, real quick, bro! I didn't get to tell you. I, I'm so sorry. I got hit. I almost got hit by a fucking car. Oh, big ass SUV. What the fuck? It's a GNC. Yeah. G- yeah. Well, what kind of car is it? It's like a SUV. SUV? It's not, it had like a Y. I saw Yukon? A, Yukon suck on this duke. Hey! <laughs> Motherfucker. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we have to cut the episode short. Um, we hope that you guys bear with us through the spooky. We're just getting going. We're, uh, you know, we're, we're wheeling and dealing. We got a lot of plans this month. Uh, it's just going to get better and better and better. So please stay tuned. I appreciate each and every one of you. This is Matt, half an hour of the Amateur Hour podcast. And we're signing off. Angel. Peace out, everybody.